Oh yeah, baby! Let's do this! I am back! Back with a vengeance, baby! Back for the bowels of hell! I am really excited though. I haven't drawn, like, I seriously haven't drawn this whole week. Oh, let me turn my lamp on. Crap, I need something. I haven't drawn for a whole week. I have been spring cleaning, like, non-stop. Like, oh my gosh, three days in a row of just spring cleaning the basement. But it looks amazing. It feels good. So I'm excited to draw Kermit the Frog from the Muppets. Oh, yes, I'm excited. Let's do this, everyone. I'm actually going to do this drawing a little different, I think. I'm going to start with using values. I'm, I'm going to try not to use any outlines. And the reason is because I kind of want to show you all kind of thinking different. Something that clicked with me. I don't know what the world is going on. But something that clicked with me is to start using more values and less outlines. And I still use lines, you know, guidelines. But something is clicking. And I've been observing every single thing. I'll watch, you know, movies. I'll watch... You know, TV, everything I, I watch, video games, drawings, and I'm studying and observing. Everything's got values. Everything's got uh, sh shades and things, and it absolutely changes your, your drawings because it's like, it's just mind-blowing how eye-opening it is. So my advice is always observe uh, where the dark areas are. It will change how you draw. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely insane the difference it made. And I think it clicked. It was from... I believe his, his channel name is Cynix Design. I'll try to put a link below. But he did a video saying draw more painterly. And he was showing how just using value. And I think that's really what kind of clicked with me. And also, I was kind of observing things before that week. Uh, so once again, do that. And also, if you're using references, like if you're looking at a drawing of Kermit. Or, or say if you want to draw a face and you need a reference. Always try to find things that have a lot of contrast. Uh, and the main reason is because a lot, of, a lot of times, like you'll draw someone's portrait, and there may not be a lot of contrast. It may be very one shaded, you know, and that's very hard to draw from for a reference. So those are the tips. I like to spill everything out before I get started. Uh, but let me know if that helps, and just keep observing those shadows. Observe the darkness. Oh yeah, baby, you want to get dark? So let's do this. So I'm gonna try to do this, like I said, with with doing the values first and trying to minimize outlines. I mean, honestly, if I were to draw this uh, just like normal, I would draw the gut outline shapes, thing, you know, the way I've been teaching. But just to teach you a different way, and this goes all back into, there's no wrong or right way to start. It's just a matter of learning and developing and getting better and more confident. And the number one thing that is, I don't know, I've just been loving it, yes! I've been loving drawing like crazy lately because Whenever I put a drawing on the video, I have no fear. I have no fear of making a mistake. And I know I said this in one of my other videos, but I have zero fear. And that's because I've been using very light lines, gestural lines. Definitely get in the habit of using gestures, you know, lines that zigzag. Because once you lose that fear, you'll be blown away at what you can do. And that's, that's one of the biggest things here for me. So, without further ado, Kermit the Frog. So I'm just going to start with, not really a line, but uh, I just want to do values here. Uh, the mouth. Like I said, it's a very different approach. I am doing a line. See how there's a line coming in? I remember, he is a little puppet. He's a muppet. Don't call me a puppet, damn you. He's a little muppet. But see? Uh, here's like the little mouth. And instead of doing lines, I'm doing values right here under the mouth. It's very, very dark in there. And I'm not worried about exact areas. All I'm doing, and this, this will change your approach. So your, your homework for this week, all my little students, my little YouTube students, your homework is, uh, try this. Try, instead of use an outline, try to do values first. See what I'm doing? I'm just doing simple little values. So really seriously try this. You'll be blown away. And you don't have to do it with like Kermit the Frog. It can be... I honestly love drawing faces doing it like this where I'm getting used to the values around the eye sockets, 
uh, the values around the nose area because it's, it's just so fun. But see what I'm doing here? And I'm really going to push this. This is darker. I want to make it too dark just because I don't want to finalize everything. Uh, but like over here, there, the eye sits in this area. All I'm doing is shading, doing, see how I'm just making that, notice how I'm holding the pencil on the side. And then I'm maybe making a little line here, or the outline, but nothing definite yet. And this is, I'm not going to lie, this is, this is challenging because, it is a lot more challenging to draw this way for teaching wise, and the reason is because my brain doesn't function this way. I, I prefer to do a basic shape and things, but the, like once again, this is a great way to learn because it changes the way you draw. And like once again, I'm, I'm just doing this so you all can see how you know changing things up it can really affect your drawing. And like like there's just creases here. I'm just making lines. But see where this line comes up, the mouth. Right under it's very, very dark, so I'm going to indicate that there. See how dark it is. And I'm still going to follow the basic rules of proportions. The mouth, basically I'm making a line, it's about that wide, and the head, the mouth to the top of the head proportion is a lot wider, so I'm going to make it, see how, see the difference you got that width compared versus that. And I'm still I'm still doing the basic rules of drawing here, proportions and little knickknacks and deans. Nick knack pretty whack. Nick knack pretty whack. You and your bonus. And like this. Then under here gets really dark. There's a crease and it needs a little muppet, like I said, he's got lots of creases. Little folds and deans. I don't have skin. I'm made of cloth. I think if I catch a fire, I'm gonna burn, Bieber. I'm hyper temp. I'm so hyper. See what I'm saying? I'm just doing these little lines, and then now I'm gonna kind of bring it home. Uh, I want to do everything in value. I just wanted to, just want to show you. But see these basic things, especially around the eyes. You have values like in this area. But see what I'm doing? And now you got this basic little form. Uh, so really try that. Like I said, I prefer doing it with human faces because you can get a lot better values. But see, see, did yet? I hope I hope this lesson helps you. I always, no, it's it's you know I teach drawing the characters, but it's all about the lessons. Each each little video is a lesson in itself. And the eyes said eyes are big. Now I'm starting to do the outline gestural. And notice how the eyes kind of slant like that. See how big they are? And the top of the head's got a little, little not really crest. See how big the eyes are? I'm going to erase those lines. This is why you never want to make your final marks that final. Like I always stress, uh, don't look, don't compare it to your actual reference. You know, like I always say, don't, I mean, you're using a reference photo, you're using whatever you need to, so you know what the character looks like. But don't worry if it's exactly shape, exactly blind. You, like I always stress this, don't worry if it's a photo copy. You don't, you, because you, sometimes you want to make it, you want to make it look like your own little thing here. See, I'm just doing that. And also, in regards to the photocopy thing, uh, which is important to understand, you want to spend more time, when you're drawing like this, you want to spend more time looking at your drawing than you are staring at the reference. That's, that's kind of what I've been stressing all the time when it comes to using references and things. See, under the mouth there is another little value. And I'm just going out, having a good old time. But, yeah, that, that's the point I've always said when you're using references and things. Uh, there's like two ways you you can look at it and then focus on what you're drawing on here. So in other words, you're spending more time looking at what you're drawing on the paper rather than looking at the image itself. 
And I guess that's a good way to kind of think of it. I hope that makes sense. Please let me know in the comments if that makes sense. Let's see. And, then, and because it is a drawing, you want to emphasize line. You don't want it to look... So with the mouth here, notice it's not a perfect curve. It kind of has these little angles. It's really wide. He's wide so he can go ribbit at night. He can ribbit and stuff. Do his little frog stuff. What is it that these frogs do? Let me just pause it here. What? What is it that these frogs do at night? When they're alone? I hear them in my pond. A pond nearby the home. You little frogs, are you conspiring against the humans? And see this. And see, now I'm really working on the outline more so you kind of get that look. Let's see here. And the, val the light source is coming in from this direction. It's going like a laser, a photon laser. I might make this eye a little smaller. I'll make sure the eyes do bulge outward. I'll make sure the eyes kind of get an idea. This eye kind of sits a little higher up. So make sure you get the eyes both big. Don't make them too big, but you know, kind of proportionate. So it looks about right. See how it is. Oh, but yeah, the light source is coming this way. So notice like, like right here, there's a little value. See, I'm just shading the value. And then right where it gets here again, it's really light. There's actually a light all around here. And I'm making these lines for the creases. Whenever I made those dark lines before. But now do you see how much easier it is? Oh my gosh! It's looking like her. Do you see what I'm saying about doing the value first? It will blow you away. Like if you're doing figure drawings, whatever you're drawing, try. Seriously, try and start with the values first. Because see how now I'm doing outlines and how it's popping out? And you know, it's those lines that seriously, it will change how you draw. I can't stress this enough. I, I love teaching. I'm so glad. I'm so happy I can teach all of you guys on here because um, this is something that's so different about my channel is uh, I am learning constantly and that's uh, that's something I really hope uh, you guys can understand a lot because that really is different. Like my channel, whereas these other channels, uh, they're kind of professionals. They're already established. You know, they they have the skills to do amazing works where I'm I'm still work uh, learning every day and so getting back to my point though that's something that's different because with my channel it's like I am learning something every day and I'm sharing it with you guys and so it's kind of it's kind of a neat experience to say uh, the way I'm thinking and the way you can learn through that process by me learning that's really pretty cool I hope that makes sense and then I'm just going back in and any highlight areas I'm erasing, especially in here. I'm trying to say mainly in here it's all dark. I'm gonna come in and touch things up. Ultimately no. A little value in here. have to be perfect as long as you get that sense of depth and you get those sense of creases which I'm going to work a little more on the creases but for the body this is where I'm just going to do a general shape body is just like a little pear almost it really does look like a little oh man this makes me want some pears oh my gosh I'm happy it's springtime look how big kind of the body shape is with the head I'm only going to do part of the body here huh and a little, what is that? Like a little collar piece. A little collar piece that juts down. And say I'm just doing simple shapes again. I'm not worried about the value now. Let's say that kind of jut. And, uh, and once again, please leave, let me know in the comments below if you like these longer videos. Because uh, I feel like, here lately, I really do feel like 
each lesson has become kind of complex. And please let me know if you like that or if you just... Because I, I definitely will do simple drawings where it's just like me drawing and it's like 10 minutes max, you know. But, but here lately I just love teaching and the feedback has all been in the positive direction of people wanting to learn different things. So, so just let me know in the comments below what you prefer, what you want to see. Because this it really does help. I take all that into consideration. Because like I said, the, the past few drawings, they've been complicated. They haven't been like your easy... Like even this, even this one, this is a simple drawing if I just drew it like a cartoon outline, but I wanted to really emphasize what values can do for you. Uh, so let me know guys, guys and gals. I'm just making the outline more. Then the arms, real simple, luckily they're just... They're just tucked behind his little back. Oh, excuse me. Like little tube shapes. So let's do the find the face and bring it on home here. Bring this baby on home. So, I'm gonna darken this. I'm gonna outline these eyes. And even the eyes have shadows on them. But see how they're like almost half. Almost like. Notice they're very round though. They, they don't have a real point, so I'm kind of gonna round them off a little more. Especially this one. Almost look like half of eggs. Like if someone perfectly cut a nice egg in half. Oh man, eggs and bacon. Oh, I love eggs and bacon. See, this side maybe looks a little smaller. I'll fix that here. No problem when you got an eraser. See, just to make it a little bigger so it looks right there. And the little head doesn't really have a point, it just kind of sits flat there. And for the eye shapes, like little circles and little things attached. They almost honestly look like little, little tadpoles. It's a subliminal message. Subliminal message, do not watch. Subliminal message entering into your brain, corrupting you. We start with two simple circles, like that, and then these little shapes, like tadpoles. See, see the tadpole there? <laughs> Kermit the Frog, you are full of mysteries and surprises. Oh yeah! Has anyone seen the new movie? That's why I'm drawing them too. See that? And then you'll darken it all in there. Make sure it looks like one shape. Oh, this is always my favorite part, putting little pupils in. This is always my favorite part, baby. Now let's bring this baby home. You're clear, kid. Bring this baby home and blow that thing. So see the little... Now just darken these lines here. And holy crap, look at this. We did it, guys. We made Kermit the Frog. And like I said, it was a longer process, but very good learning lesson. And... Oh, I'm just going to go in and shade some more areas back here. It's a lot of shading, especially where the arms are shade that and uh, shade part of the collar. And make sure you just divine, define the lines a little better. I want it to look rough because he is a little muppet. He's got that cloth material. I'm going to go back, like, especially with the mouth, I'm going to shade all this in. But I want this side to still be darker where we started. But holy crap, let me know if you learned something, guys. And man, I really have fun with this one. I was excited to draw today. And once again, really straight back here. And just work on the shading. Uh, 
under here is more value. Over here there's not so much, but definitely under here. And just shade in the little collar mats parts. However you want. But you can see I just added a little value. Really pops it out. But thanks everyone for watching. Share your drawings with me on my Google Plus. Place and more drawings on the way. Thanks everyone.